Let's use Melodyne to create some harmonies. So I'm working with an artist named Chelsea Meyer and we live far away from each other. So I'm gonna use Melodyne to tune in some of my harmony ideas and then I'll send them to Chelsea and she'll re-sing them in her studio. So the first thing we're gonna do is take the lead vocal here and I'm gonna duplicate it twice. I know that I want the whole first verse sang up an octave just to give some power underneath. So I'm gonna pop open Melodyne We'll hit Command A to select all, and we're just gonna click and drag. This first note is an A. We'll drag it all the way up to the A and octave above. And it's gonna sound pretty crazy, uh, but Chelsea's gonna re-sing that. These are just to reference. So I wanna leave the first half of this verse open without adding any harmonies, and on this held out note, that's where I'm gonna put the first harmony, and then we'll have them carry over through the rest of that verse, so it kind of steps up a little bit. So I'm gonna grab this phrase, and referencing this held out note, uh, we're gonna grab it and slide it up. So it starts on a G, and I'm gonna drag the whole phrase up so that this note is now singing an E. And now we'll just tweak along the way. So I know the second note is one note too sharp, all right, let's hear that together. Cool, I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the rest of this verse and also raise it up a little bit. The melody has this cool stepping pattern that'll sound really nice with a harmony on top of that. So let's reference the melody one more time. So I'm gonna start by sliding these up a third and we'll see how that sounds and tweak it from there. I like that, but the harmony is a little too obvious and the notes are very close, so I'm not really hearing the distance in the vocal. They get a little mushed together. So let's raise this note. Instead of from an A to a C, let's bring this up to an F. Okay, so all of those second notes when uh, it's currently hitting a D sharp are one note too flat. So we're gonna grab all the D sharps and raise that a half step. And now we can play around with suspension by raising some of these. I'm gonna flatten this one out so we get rid of that dip. Same thing here. Okay, so these two notes now are landing on a C sharp, which is one note too high. So let's grab all the C sharps, bring those down to a C. Let's hear that here from measure 29. That's kind of cool, but let's actually raise this last note. And we'll listen from measure 31. That's cool. All right, so let's take a listen to what we've done. We'll go a phrase before the first harmony we changed. Awesome, now obviously that sounds a little crazy. The goal is not to use these in the track, but now I can send Chelsea back her own voice singing these parts that she can reference when she actually goes to cut vocals. And I do this all the time, even with artists that I'm in the studio with. Sometimes it's better to hear your own voice doing that part, even if it's a weird chipmunk tuned version of your own voice. But sometimes the artist can hear that and latch onto it much easier than if I just sing what I'm hearing out loud in the room to them. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Respiration, yeah.